Well, I just want to recap from uh, Saturday's game. And, you know, it was an inauspicious start for us. Um, we didn't get off the, the right foot the way we wanted to. Uh, but after watching the film yesterday, realized that there's a, this is going to be a good football team. We got a lot of good players, and they played extremely hard from the first play to the last play. Uh, the defense created five turnovers, and when you can do that, you're going to win a lot of football games. I thought our ex execution on offense was not nearly up to where it needs to be. Uh, we dropped too many footballs on Saturday. Um, but unbelievably promising um, things in, in the future just based on the film. And uh, I like this football team a whole lot, and I think we're going to be really good when it's all said and done. We did uh... – we had like 80% success on third downs, which is real huge. I mean, it's never really been like that in the past. Uh, like you said, five turnovers on defense. We won the turnover margin by four, I think, which is incredible. Um, we just, you know, got to work on little things and, you know, just work hard in practice on, you know, our fundamentals and stuff like that. And, you know, we got a lot of promising things come in the future. Said. Um, you know, it's a big first game. We go out there, and there are a lot of positives that you could take from that game. Um, we competed with one of the top teams in the nation, and uh, they're, they're a great football team. But, you know, we went out there, and we, we played our butts off the whole game. So we see that we have a lot of fight on our team. And um, we can actually look at that film and see how we competed and take forth all the positives and then look at the negatives and use that and reevaluate that to come and compete in our conference for the rest of the year. So I thought that was big in itself. He's phenomenal. Uh, watching the film yesterday, he's a phenomenal player. And I'm glad we don't have to play against him because he is as disruptive of a guy that I've seen since uh, Dwight Freeney, Freeney when I was, we were preparing to play uh, Syracuse when I was at West Virginia. He's that disruptive. As a sophomore, how much better Oh, my goodness. And, and just to watch how fast he gets off the ball and, and gets in the backfield, chases things down. He's always in the back. He's always playing on that, that side of the line of scrimmage. Are they double-teaming him quite a bit of time? You know, trying to, but they can't. And he's too fast off the ball. And, and, he, and when we cut the front, I mean, they have no chance of blocking him. I think the thing that we're probably going to have to do, now, obviously the defensive staff knows better than I do, but I mean, you're going to have to probably move him around a little bit, try to hide him. And, um, so they don't get a beat on, or so they don't get a beat on where he is all the time, because he can take over a game up front, and he'll create some some open shots for Luke to run through some holes because they're so concerned about blocking him. He is ridiculous as a player. Is it one of those things where you had to see it in person in the game to really get it? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't realize how good he. I mean. I watched him practice and all those other things, but to throw that film on from yesterday and watch what he did to those guys who allegedly and probably are some of the best players in the country, it was, he, was, he was unbelievable. Yeah, they're good. I mean, I mean, they played last week against Oklahoma State, and the score is not indicative on they're very explosive offensively. They have uh, they've ran the ball or had 82 plays. They're going to hur hurry up. They're going to try to get as many balls snapped as, as they possibly can and try to keep the pressure on the defense. Um, they had some problems in the passing game defensively. Uh, gave them some plays in the, in the passing game. But, you know, they've always had great players. And they got a lot of guys in the NFL, and they're going to bring some speed up here. And uh, I think the key to this game is for us to s establish some things early in the contest. We, we have to get some things rolling offensively, get, get a couple shutdowns early defensively, and we got to play much better on special teams and not put our defense in such a bad situation. Are they, they, they kind of tinkered with spread last year with the new staff that they were talking about maybe not? Are they still spread? Yeah, they're still running some spread. No, I mean, they're in a lot of different, for, a lot of, in and out of a lot of different formations, and they're going to show us a lot of different things. And we're, going to have to, and we're going to have to practice a lot of different things this week, and we got some things planned. But expect to see him to hurry up, up tempo. Are you a 
they're an odd front. I play a lot of cover three. Um, they'll bring some field blitz. Uh, they, play, they like to play the corners inside sometimes and try to put the extra hat in the in the box by playing the corners inside the wide house and not letting them bo and block them. Um, not a lot of man coverage, but a lot of zone coverage. Any guys that you kind of circle on either side of the ball? For them? You know, I've gone through the film four times, a game from last week four times, and and I'll go through it another probably four times before the week's out. But uh, hopefully I haven't seen them yet. Anyone who creates a huge problem yet. So we'll watch them again and see if there's anybody that we need to double or um, try to neutralize.